what is the experimental deviation? And it would have been completely respectable if we had gone through and made some guesses and found that there is no noticeable experimental difference because, again, these things are in regimes very, very far away. We stuck our necks, necks out. We made some very, very specific guesses as to how this weird overlap of states would show up in the equations of motion for particles like neutrinos. And then we made predictions on how the neutrinos would behave on the basis of those wild guesses. And then we compared them with data. And what we found is we're pretty close, but haven't yet reached the detectability of the effect that we are predicting. In other words, well, basically one way of saying what we predict is if a neutrino, and there's reasons why it's neutrinos, we can go to, into if you want, but it's not that interesting. If a neutrino comes to us from across the universe, from some galaxy very, very far away, there is a probability as it's traveling that it will dissolve into other neutrinos because they're not really perpendicular to each other as vectors as they would ordinarily be in quantum field theory. And that means that if you look at neutrinos coming from far enough away with high enough energies, they should disappear. Like if you see if you if you see a whole bunch of nearby neutrinos, but then further away, you should see fewer. And there is an experiment called Ice Cube, which is this amazing testament to the ingenuity of human beings, where they go to Antarctica and they drill holes and they put photo detectors on a string a mile deep in these holes. And they basically use all of the ice in a cube, you know, I don't know whether it's a, a mile or not, but it's like a kilometer or something like that, some big region, that much ice is their detector. Mm -hmm. And they're looking for flashes when a cosmic ray or a neutrino or whatever hits a ice molecule, water molecule in the ice. Wait, makes flashes flash. in the ice. They're yes, looking for they're looking for flashes in the ice.